Truck drivers are an essential part of the workforce, not only during the pandemic, but all year round and certainly during better times. They drive long hours to deliver supplies for us. But while they were on the road, their options for eating, you know, for uh, for bathroom visits, for any of that stuff has become uh, much more complicated here in the last month or so. Christy Diaz gives us a look at the conditions that they are dealing with on the road right now. If you can look behind me, there's my bed. You want to talk about someone with a desperate need for toilet paper? Over there in the corner with the orange thing, that's my porta potty. Talk to a trucker. We're oversized. We can't always park where there's a bathroom. Steph Tatum drives heavy haul. He's the oversized load that needs several lanes to get by. He says one of the biggest frustrations is trying to find food with many restaurants shut down. It's just aggravating because you, you can only eat so many Subway sandwiches in, in, in one week. There's not many places that we can park. 63 feet of vehicle. You also don't fit in a drive through Absolutely not. <laughs> Danita Beasley was on a route from Pennsylvania to Georgia when we spoke. We've been nonstop all week. She mostly hauls pharmaceuticals and produce. Have you had to do extra shifts or extra runs since that's been so in demand lately? Yeah, I've seen an increase in trucks on the highway. Um, I've talked to people. They've come out of like retirement to get back on the road to kind of help out. In March, the president waived the hourly restrictions for truck drivers, allowing for longer routes and quicker transport of emergency goods. We work 14 hour days sometimes. Barbara Floyd is a local driver. She makes a lot of deliveries to Publix. How does it feel to be an essential worker? at this time. Well, I feel like I finally have a job that has a meaning because I'm needed now. Even though they're the ones hauling the products, empty shelves are affecting them too. All three keep supplies with them, but sold out items like rubbing alcohol are affecting their safety. I would normally use it putting in my brake system in my truck so it keeps them from freezing up. How many times have you gone looking for it and found an empty shelf? Every time I'm gone. But they say they'll keep on trucking because they know what happens if they stop. Understand that when we stop rolling, everything stops. Your gas, your food, your clothing, everything. Truckers are the lifeline to the country, and we thank all of them for all of their work for making sure that we are able to eat and get all the medical supplies that we possibly need.